research was the initial guiding light for me as a career path. That's what brought me to this country, kept me going, and has kept me going. I wanted to do research that was more applied to the human condition. The best to understand a system is to study when the system is broken. In drug addiction, opiate addiction, the brain is broken, the signaling is broken, signaling is altered. And so that was the way in which we could get at what normal signaling should be or could be. Lakshmi's unique expertise in pharmacology, systems biology, and molecular neuroscience is recognized around the world. Her investigations into the brain's response to drug abuse and opiate addiction are at the forefront of neuropharmacology research. In my lab, we are interested in identifying new ways in which we can target opiate addiction. The one question that I want answered is, what do the many different opioids that we have in our body do in terms of signaling? Can we now identify new ways in which they signal, new targets for making drugs based on that knowledge? She understood and developed new ways to approach our understanding of how cells talk to one another. For example, the fact that although we think receptors only talk to the same kind of receptors, in fact, there are ways that receptors partner with one another, even if they're from different classes. Instead of directly targeting the opiate receptor itself, we are looking at other receptors in the vicinity or area of the brain where the opiate receptor is causing addiction. That kind of concept, I think, has helped open many vistas for us in the field how we can block those pathways as a form of a new therapy that could reduce addiction and ultimately bring people back to health. I admire Dr. Debbie not only as a scientist, but also as an educator. That dual role as a researcher and educator is a rare combination in a leading a investigator in academic institution. She took on a new role as Dean for Academic Enrichment and in a very short time stood up programs that have been transformative for junior faculty. Her impact will resonate in changing the landscape of this institution for years to come. And the Jacobi Medallion is a very appropriate recognition of a very special person. When I was told that I received the Jacobi, it was an honor. I think it is in recognition of my accomplishments at Sinai, but actually those are the accomplishments of Sinai because Sinai made me who I am today.